They learned the sky and fall toward Earth as we threw two times faster than a spinning water. Meteor showers have been mesmerized for centuries, and they're a beautiful reminder of the perfect, busy, and mystical solar system. But what meteor showers exactly are, and where do they come from? Are they dangerous to humans? First of all, a meteor shower occurs with a trail of interplanetary debris, like the one left behind by comets through asteroids, enter the Earth's atmosphere. The interplanetary is mostly made up of space rock, of space rock that is called meteorites. As the meteorites fall toward Earth, they produce drag throughout the rock. This causes the meteorites to hit at the streak of the ancient slider sea, which is the hot air left behind the burning rock. When Earth encounters by many meteorites at once, we call it a meteor shower. Meteor showers are usually named for the constellation, the Ragnarok appears. The most common and famous ones are Perseus, Geminite, Leonite, and Lyris. However, it's estimated that there are around 21 meteor showers a year, and they are occurring between August and December. A meteor shower entered the Earth's atmosphere at speed ranging from 25,000 miles per hour to 160,000 miles per hour. It's funny to imagine all the interplanetary debris flying toward us. Cameras around the world have captured meteors falling from the sky. Logo, some of them hit the land, disintegrated, or burn off. The remaining pieces fall into the ocean, and when they survive the fall and hit the land, at that time we call it a meteorite. Scientists estimated that the meteorites are the size of a, of a pebble. In fact, 99% of the approximately 50 tons of the space debris that falls every day to the Earth's surface are of that size. However, the meteorites are as large as boulders, and the largest meteorites from on the Earth's surface is called Homba discovered in Namibia in 1920, and it weighs roughly 190,000 pounds. It's new year of this magnitude and proportional because when I inspired the scientists to dedicate their career and to understand how do they form and travel through our solar system in order to better comprehend them and to find a way to reduce their damage. I hope you enjoyed the video and knew some answers about your questions with me listening to today.